I was watching uh, Seinfeld last night, the Man Hands episode, um, and it reminded me of this out-of-body experience I had. It's been some years now. Um, I'm not even sure why we started talking about it. I worked with this woman, and I don't know. Um, we were at a, we were in a meeting with this guy, and somehow we got on the subject of man hands. I don't know if the episode was like on the night before or what. I don't remember. But we're we're in this meeting, and we're just I guess chit chatting at this point, and and. The woman I was working with says, tell this guy the story about the person you know with man hands. Which really wasn't even a very good story. I don't know why she wanted me to share it with this guy. I don't remember the circumstances of the conversation that would have even brought that up. Or why she thought this story would be at all entertaining to this guy. Because it really in and of itself was not a good story. Except the woman had man hands. I don't know if you're familiar with the episode of Seinfeld. Um, Jerry's dating this woman. He's like, she's a lovely woman, but she's she's got man hands. They're at, they're at dinner, and they'll do a cutaway of these man hands, and, and she'll say, oh, let me open your beer, and she'll crack it open, you know, and uh, he's like, that wasn't even a twist off. Or cracking the lobster in half, you know, just mauling stuff with these giant hands. And at one point, he's got something on his face, and she's like, "Let me get it for you." He's like, "No." And so you see this big hand sort of you know, all up in his face. I'm, I guess, I'm giving examples of sort of my situation with this woman that I know. Uh, she's a doctor, and she was doing some stuff, and I'm like, "Gosh, she's got man hands." So I'm, I'm demonstrating stuff like this, you know, and just doing the little. I don't know. I think I had bottled water or something so I'm you know I'm all and I catch myself in the reflection of the window that's right behind or nearby or something somehow I see myself telling this story and suddenly um I I I, I completely have this out-of-body experience that like like there's a little version of me sitting next to me saying oh my god you have man hands Look at your hands. They're very mansy. And I, all I can kind of hear in my head is blah, blah, blah. I'm telling the story. I mean, I can, I can hear myself talking. And I'm watching the guy look at me, look at my hands as I'm telling the story. And all the while, I'm like, do you think he's noticing that my hands are man hands? I don't know. Maybe he is. Maybe he's like, oh, God, she's got man, hand, man hands. I mean, here this person is telling this man hand story who also has man hands. How crazy is that? And, I, and at that point, I'm like, I need to wrap this story up. I need to stop talking. Because it, it's, it's apparent to me that uh, things aren't going well. And, and I just, I don't know. It, it, nobody was, you know, had a reaction on their face or anything. Although, I guess it was just, it was all me. Although, I do kind of have a little mansy hands. But I think it's, it probably, of the women that I have seen that have man hands, I'll just, how many times can I say man hands in a video? A lot. It seems like uh, that uh, women who work with their hands a lot have a tendency to look a little mansy sometimes. It also doesn't help that I have short fingernails. Years ago, I had long fingernails and I spent all my time filing them, getting them just so. I think I've only had sort of that out of body experience a couple other times in my life. It's not it's not something that happens very often, but it's it's a very strange sensation when suddenly you kind of hear yourself as other people are hearing you and it's just this this the weirdest sensation. Um and then of course to have an internal conversation. Uh it was such a conversation so much it was just a little monologue. However, it was bizarre and uh it was very unsettling. So yeah. I'll admit it. I have man hands. I'm okay with that. Bye.